Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Hi, I'm Nelson Muñiz. I'm from the Dominican Republic, and I'm a senior baseball player at the University of Pikeville. So the language, at the beginning, the language was a little bit of a barrier, I guess. The terms are, are a little bit different, so I might have struggled communicating with some of my coaches, but fortunately, I had some great teammates that helped me overcome that barrier. Sometimes we'll joke around, they'll teach us some of the words, and we'll teach them some Spanish. It's been a fun experience. So playing with Nelson, who speaks Spanish, is pretty neat because uh, you know not every kid gets a chance to do it um, in college. You know, some teams may not ever have that uh, have a person that speaks Spanish fluently. Um, and you know, he's taught me some things, uh, baseball related, that uh, in Spanish. Uh, taught me some things to say, and I know whenever Nelson's pretty mad at himself in the box now, just because of the things he says in Spanish. So it's it's pretty cool. So when I compare playing baseball in the Dominican and playing baseball in the U.S., I'll say that the main difference is how fundamental the game is played out here. In the Dominican, you're just used to letting your abilities play for you. Over here, you gotta be more fundamental. You gotta be mentally stronger, and you gotta be always pinpoint on the plays ready for what might or might not happen as opposed to where the island where it's just more of like let your abilities play out so you can get out of there because like his swing in college was like this baseball is just a way of life you grow up and all your book is baseball you see here people play baseball as a recreational sport over there a lot of people find baseball as, the, as their way out of the island, their way out of poverty. That's why you start playing when you're really young and that's the only thing you focus. Some people even give up school to play baseball. In the U.S. you have the opportunity to play high school baseball and at the same time complete your high school studies. Most of the professional Dominican players don't get that opportunity since they have to sign when they're 16 and drop out of high school.